Good morning, family. Welcome to today's Lessons for Life. Today is Friday, March 27, 2009. And today we're reading in Deuteronomy chapter 26. And uh, first again, as always, uh, I know it's getting repetitive, but you know this is a uh, key thing that you read the scriptures through for yourself and see what you get from it. See what you get from it, and you can email us, and we'll put it on the blog. But uh, I'm just going to touch on uh, one thing I saw from this chapter, because you know, in, in a lot of these chapters, just about all these chapters, there's so many different things you can get from it. And the overall thing that we're talking about <coughs> uh, during the beginning portion of the chapter is uh, talking about the tithe. And we've mentioned that before in Lessons for Life, you know, how important it is to give the Lord the first fruits um, and make sure you keep that really separate from everything else, so that you don't dip into it to, you know, use it for something else and just reserve that for the Lord. Um, but what I actually want to bring up for Lessons for Life today is something different that I just saw as I was reading. You know, it was, they were kind of recapping some of the stuff that they've been through and uh, they're saying, you know, how they were afflict, afflicted in Egypt. And um, what I saw as I was, or thought about as I was reading that, you know, they, they went through their affliction. If you read the scripture, they they had their affliction in Egypt. They were, you know, in bondage. But then the Lord didn't deliver them, uh, you know, just because they were afflicted. It wasn't until they got to the point where they said that they cried out unto the Lord. And then the Lord looked at their affliction and then you know, he started to uh, deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. So what I got and what I went to share for Lessons for Life really was, you know, a lot of times that we go through different things in life and, uh, well actually let me preface it by saying this. This is something that we've actually been talking about even in Temple recently about what you uh, tolerate or what you put up with is not going to change. It's, a, it's only until you get to the point that you don't tolerate it anymore that things can actually change in your life. So now if you look at the um, children of Israel, when they were in Egypt and they were being afflicted, until they cried unto the Lord and, you know, basically said, you know, uh, we need help or, you know, the Lord deliver us, save us, help us from this uh, situation, that's when the Lord looked at their affliction and was able to and deliver them from the hands of the Egyptians. And personally, I remember in my life there was a time, you know, there was some stuff that I was going through and I know you know, this just didn't feel right. This is not how I'm supposed to live. This is not what I'm supposed to be doing. And it wasn't until I cried until the Lord personally, you know, just said, you know, this ain't right. This is not, I remember hollering in, in the um, basement one time. This ain't This ain't right. This isn't God's best for me. And until I got, got to that stage, that's when things started to change in my life. So uh, what we need to do in life is when you are in a situation that, you want to change that you have to get to that point first. I guess that you you can't you don't tolerate. Like I said, we've been learning that in the temple. You have to get to that point where you can't tolerate because if you tolerate these certain things in your life, it's going to continue and continue in in your life. So when you get to that point where you can't tolerate it, then you actually force a change, and then you can look to God to help you to even change that situation. But a lot of times we just go through and we tolerate certain things, and we just allow certain things. We may complain about it. But we still are tolerating it, tolerating it, tolerating it. So uh, that's what I want to bring up for Lessons for Life, and I believe we can all learn something from that, even that portion of this chapter. Like I said, there's always a lot more in the in the scriptures as we read it through, so I want you to read it for yourself. But create yourself a wonderfully blessed day today, and we will talk again tomorrow.